I'm rolling. Hey everybody, welcome to the workout of the day. We're gonna try to carry on things as normal here. It's Wednesday, that means it's hump day, okay? If you're ready to work out, here's what we got for you today, folks. We have 12 minutes of work. This has been pretty popular in our programming in the past uh, several months. And you know, whenever you see this, your goal is to get through these movements three to four rounds, okay? So during this 12 minutes, we're gonna do the following. We're gonna do an odd object carry or hold for 30 seconds on the left and the right. That's crucial. Then we're gonna do 10 renegade rows or 20 shoulder taps. And then we're gonna do a bear crawl with a drag or 20 leopard crawl steps. Okay, let's talk through the odd object carrier hold for 30 seconds. Depending on what kind of weights you have at home, this can be done a variety of ways. But what I want you to focus on today is the word odd, okay? Odd, so if it's easy, you need to make this carry odder. All right, so for example, if all you have is a 26 pound kettlebell, this for me personally would end up being fairly light. You know, obviously this is relative to your strength and where you're at. So a suitcase carry for 30 seconds really isn't gonna feel like I'm doing much. How could I make this a odder carry or more difficult? A lot of different ways. First one, okay, we could simply do a front rack carry. This is gonna be more difficult. My core is more turned on now, I have to brace it. From here, we could go into an a overhead carry, pressing that weight over your head bicep always tucked in behind or right in line with your ear. And from here, if you're like, Nick, this is still easy. My weight's not heavy enough. Gosh, I can't do this. Yes, you can. Check this out. You're gonna get the kettlebell upside down. Upside down carry, this is level one. Level two would be at 90 degree, that's pretty difficult. And then if you really want a challenge and you're safe and you've done the other two confidently, you can go overhead, upside down carry, for 30 seconds. I would stand in place first before you start walking around. So use this as a warm up in the first couple rounds. Perfect, okay. Think the same way with any other object that you have at home. You might be like, hey, I have a slam ball. Can I overhead carry that or odd object carry that? Of course you can. Have you tried to balance a slam ball on one arm overhead and walk with it at the same time? If not, give that a shot today. All right, next up. We have the Renegade Rows, or 20 shoulder taps. Both of these movements are gonna require that you're in a plank position, all right? This could be from your knees or from your toes. Notice my hands are under my shoulders. All right, what we're gonna do here, if you have a kettlebell, for example, for this row, is gonna be the following. Row it to your shoulder, switch hands, row it to your other shoulder. Again, if you have only have a light kettlebell, or a lightweight. Here's a different way you could grab this today. This is gonna get insanely difficult fast. Stick with me. You're gonna to try to grab just the bell of the kettlebell and you're gonna to try to row that to your shoulder. You can hear by the strain in my voice, this is significantly more difficult already, especially going to 10. And that's gonna become a challenge really, really fast. If you have a dumbbell, this is obviously a lot more simple. You just grab the handle, row it to your shoulder. If you don't have those weights or the weights you have are too heavy, doing the shoulder taps for 20 reps and trying to keep your hips square to the ground will be the goal here today. Last movement in our strength piece is gonna be a bear crawl with a weighted drag or 20 leopard crawl steps. It says a backpack drag. You could use a backpack for any of the movements we've just talked about and we'll load it up with some kind of weight. Or you could use your kettlebell, dumbbell, or slam ball and drag it behind you as you bear crawl like so. I'm gonna use a slam ball for this. If you wanna make it more difficult, try to grab it. <laughs> There's no wrong answer today when you're trying to make these movements more difficult, folks, okay? So, as far as distance goes for the bear crawl carry, think what room do you have if you don't wanna work on your garage because the floor is dirty or you don't wanna go outside because it's cold, that's fine. Use your biggest room that has the most open space and go wall to wall one or two times 
or until you find, hey, this is kind of difficult. If you're like, ah, oh, that didn't feel like anything, you need to add extra length potentially. Still make sure that you allow yourself enough time to get through three to four rounds, again, of the odd object carry, the 10 renegade rows or 20 shoulder taps, and the bear crawl with a drag or 20 leopard crawl steps. Okay, if you guys have any questions, go ahead, uh, post them below. Let's go ahead, let's get our strength portion going on. We'll be back for the wad here in just a moment. All right, folks, hopefully that strength portion went well for you. Again, always scale up if you need to or ask questions and comments if you're not sure how to make something more difficult or less difficult, or if you just need other variations of movements. We're a community, check out the comments below. We'll help each other out through this, okay? Uh, next up, we have our workout of the day. It's a 20 minute AMRAP today. This one's pretty straightforward, really easy to crush your soul on, okay? It is gonna be the following, 20 minute AMRAP. You're gonna do a suitcase carry for 45 seconds, or imagine you're in the red gym at CFP, right? We're going pull-up rig to pull-up rig. That's just about 50 feet, one length. So we're gonna go at least two lengths. So again, just like the strength portion, find that distance where it's something you have to work at. It's not easy. Then after that, you're gonna do one dumbbell or kettlebell clean and jerk, or one dumbbell or kettlebell box over, or 10 weighted marches, or one burpee. Okay, and these weighted marches could also be lunges. Oop, I said just wrote lunge, I'm hungry. Lunges, uh, that'd be a great alternative. Burpees, always a great alternative. So, real quick here, suitcase carry. Again, if suitcase carry is too easy, think back to our strength portion. Make it an odd carry, right? Upside down, front rack, you name it, overhead, all that will work. On the dumbbell or kettlebell clean and jerk, really straightforward here. If you wanna make this more difficult, make sure it's one on the left, one on the right. Switch hands and so forth, okay? Uh, if you have a kettlebell, if you're comfortable with the kettlebell clean, we're gonna clean it up. If you're not comfortable with the kettlebell clean, you're going to stand it up, bring it in this front rack position, press it, switch arms, front rack position, press it, and continue. What if you just have a slam ball? Here's what we're gonna do. You're literally gonna clean and jerk the slam ball up. It's gonna be sweet. And so forth. The more intense you follow it down, the more you're gonna get out of this movement. I can't stress that enough, all right? After this, the workout gets pretty straightforward. So you're gonna do suitcase carry, one, one, suitcase carry, two, two, suitcase carry, three, three, and so on. On the box overs, if you don't have a box or an ottoman or something you can easily step over, again, weighted marches, weighted lunges, or a burpee, okay? Any of those will do. Remember, body weight's okay. This is a 20 minute AMRAP. The numbers only keep going up. It's gonna get difficult if you don't have a lot of weight or you choose to do this body weight, you're just gonna get through more rounds, which is awesome, right? Remember, every single day, the goal is to sweat, breathe hard, and get a good workout. If you can check those three things off, you had a great workout today. Comment below with any questions, and we'll see you tomorrow, folks.